Hello everybody, welcome to Drinks in a Movie. Chris Hampker here with you. Today we'll be talking about Jojo Rabbit, the new film by Taika Waititi. But first, let's start with the drink. Uh, so the drink I'm making today is called the Jack Rabbit Cocktail. Uh, Jack Rabbit Cocktail is pretty simple. It's got a, a couple of ingredients, but uh, not too hard. Um, so it's uh, one, par, one part gin, one part apricot, ap yep, easy for me to say, apricot brandy, uh, one half part triple sec, and one half part vermouth. All put into a shaker with ice, shaken, and then served in a cocktail glass. So, let's make this drink and talk about Jojo Rabbit. So, like I said, Jojo, Jojo Rabbit is uh, written and directed by Taika Waititi of Thor Ragnarok and What We Do in the Shadows fame. And stars um, uh, Roman Griffins, I think his name is, who plays Jojo, and Scarlett Johansson, who plays his mother. Uh, and is about a boy growing up in uh, Nazi Germany during World War II. And this boy is very excited about being a Nazi youth. He's kind of drunken, all the uh, Nazi propaganda, and is bought into it. So much so that he consistently talks to his uh, um, imaginary friend, Hitler, uh, that he affectionately refers to as Adolf while he talks to him. Um, and his imaginary friends constantly giving him advice on, you know, how to, how to, how to be a better Nazi youth. Um, the thing that you have to remember going into this movie is that it is, uh, Nazi Germany, World War II told, told through the, the eyes and the lens of a 10 year old boy, which means it gets silly, absurd, and uh, almost satirical at times, um, but is always heartfelt and, and truthful because that's kind of how 10 year old boys are. They kind of regurgitate what they hear, um, which is not always the truth, but it's the truth to them. Let's give this a shake. Um, so where was I? Anyway, so, uh, this movie has the Taika Waititi uh, humor that I really like. I'm very much a fan of. Um, and what I loved about this movie, and yes, I did love this movie, is that it is somehow able to, and normally I, I would have a problem with this because I, I don't like extreme tonal shifts, but this somehow takes this uh, through the lens of a 10-year-old boy look on World War II which is, like I said, sometimes absurd, but it takes these absurd kind of cartoony, satirical moments and then hard writes sometimes into very, very heartfelt moments, very sad moments, and very gut punch, like, uh, I don't want to say horrific, but just very, very sad and, and, uh, and moving uh, moments that brought brought me to tears, and but at the same time, moment before I was laughing hysterically at 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 the weird performance of Taika Waititi playing Hitler as his imaginary friend. This thing just this movie kind of has that sensibility that can just go from one thing to the other somehow, and I think it's because of these performances of the of the of the main actors, especially from Scarlett Johansson, who once again puts in a beautiful performance. Let's try this drink. I, I'm too excited about the movie. It's not bad. It's pretty good. It's a little gin heavy. You might want to go to like maybe three fourths gin, but it's pretty good. Um, and Roman Griffin, who you know the play the two leads essentially, uh, and his best friend played by Archie Yates, who is incredible. He's this kind of doughy little boy that, from what I understand, is his first movie. But he uh, steals every scene he's in. And I, he has this long speech at the end that is hysterical. I would watch over and over and over again. Um, but Scarlett Johansson has these these wonderful moments with the young boy. Uh, there's the storyline that kind of makes him question whether he should be a Nazi anymore. Uh, that I don't want to give too much away because it's kind of a neat little little surprise when it happens. Um, there's great little comedic performances by Sam Rockwell, um, Rebel Wilson. Uh, Stephen Merchant, uh, there's just, there, 
they just all kind of combine to make this lovely little story that I just couldn't get enough of. I absolutely adore this movie. I thought I think it's uh, uh, just a beautiful film, and I would totally recommend seeing it. Anybody uh, that wants to laugh and also be moved uh then then this is the, your your thing go for it uh so uh a big recommend for me thank you so much everybody for joining me uh, i hope you enjoyed this have a drink on me bye bye everybody